do you do, young Willie McBride? Do you mind? This is the north of France where during the First World War, Battle of the Somme, uh, Poziers Ridge, um, 60,000 Australians lost their lives here, and many, many, many thousands of Brits. Um, and there's lots of uh, memorial sites in this area. Um, but I'm here specifically because of a song that was written by a Scots Australian and uh, or a Scot who lived most of his life in Australia uh, and he visited uh, this site and it's, it inspired him to write a very particular song. The sun it shines on the green fields of France there's a warm summer breeze that makes the red poppies dance and look how the sun as you drive here you pass through acres and acres and acres of green fields and i've been working here for the last uh, few few weeks and it is all green fields it's quite an incredible place to visit but i've come to this particular uh, memorial cemetery to see a particular grave which is just down this way, I believe. Hopefully we'll find it. Uh, but we're looking for grave number, grave A, 36. Absolutely nobody here, 36 degrees Celsius. If you ever come to North France, it's very warm. So it's where to begin. Fifteen twenty-five gunner, Royal Field Artillery, twenty-four years old. Thirty-six A. One E. A, B, C, D, E. So A is the front row. I see. So here, this is A, this is 1A. So, a soldier of the Great War, no name. So we should go along here, 36, one, two, three, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 36, 37, 38, 31, 32, 33, 34, there he is. There's a Willie McBride. 21406 Private W. McBride. Royal Inniskillen Fusiliers, 10th of February 1916. Although the song was written by Eric Bogle, I think it had been a, to his frustration, the success of the song came through the Furies, the band, the Irish band, the Furies. And uh, he had a slightly different tune to his version of the song, or his song. Uh, and it's just a cracking good tune, an extremely moving song. And it kind of signifies the, I don't know, the, just the meaninglessness of war. It's the unknown soldier. And I think uh, that's the key. It could be any one of these soldiers who died here uh, or any of the thousands, the hundreds of thousands of soldiers and the millions of people who died in the war and the Second World War. It's the futility of war uh, and the fragility of, of being, a per, you know, being a person. But I think there's something moving about the idea of a songwriter coming and sitting next to the Willie McBride gravestone over there and coming up with that song that's had such an enormous impact all around the world. And for me anyway, there's nobody else here, but for me anyway, it's an, 
it was important to come here and visit this. One, to share it with you because I couldn't find any other videos on YouTube of people who had done this, although I'm sure there are some. But um, mainly just because for me to come from the UK, Yorkshire in the UK, all the way to the north of France, even though I'm actually working here at the moment, to actually do this and come here and pay my respects. Um, it's a tiny, minuscule fraction of the effort and the respect that these people deserve. And it's wonderful to see how well cared for these gravestones are. 114 years later. Now, Eric Bogle's been a little bit cheeky, I think. Uh, when uh, the Furies had success when they renamed their version of the song The Green Fields of France as opposed to his original title which was No Man's Land uh, he then went and trademarked or copyrighted both titles so, <laughs> so, that, <laughs> so that he made sure he didn't miss out on that he did say it's a song that was written about the military cemeteries in Flanders and North France in 1976 my wife and I went to three or four of these military cemeteries and saw all the young soldiers buried there. Uh, Eric Bogle also said that he wrote the Greenfields of France as a response to the anti-Irish sentiment in Britain during the IRA bombing campaign in the 70s. Bogle revealed he chose the name Willie McBride for the 19-year-old who featured in the song because of its Irish connotations. And that's the 18th of February 2015. I don't think no, no, no disrespect, but I can't, but I don't believe that. I think he, he wrote a beautiful ballad about World War I and the futility of war. Anyway, that's how, that's the takeaway I want to have with that song because that's what that song means to me. Uh, the trench warfare that was going on. And this conversation that's going on between this uh, singer and the uh, you know the young soldier the 19 year old soldier who doesn't answer back is kind of um, it's just an extremely moving song extremely moving if you get a chance the sun's almost right above the head if you get a chance come and pay your respects to to Willie McBride or any of these headstones that are here uh, it's a good thing to do Remember the people that fought in the, the war, the ridiculous, stupid wars that we have. Remember the people that gave their lives to protect your freedoms. You do begin to wonder if these people died in a fight about what they were told it was about. Yeah. Right, let's go. Thanks for watching, guys. Till the next time, take care of yourselves. To man's blind indifference, to his fellow man, to a whole generation that were butchered and died. Did they beat the drum slowly? Did they play the pipe lowly? Did they sound the death march? As they lower you down Did the band play the last chorus just in chorus And did the pipes play the chorus of the fall